Hi, Bergy Berg. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Leo Virgo, or you could be on the cusp of Leo. Hi, guys. I hope you all are doing well. So let's tap into your energy, Bergy. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Thank you all for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, Virgo. I am sending all that love back to you guys tenfold, okay? Um, thank you all to... Um, not thank you all. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> thank you guys. Uh, thank you to my new subs. Okay, make sure you guys are subbed and you like and comment. Okay, I do read all of your comments. I get overwhelmed, so I don't reply to all of them, but I read them and I acknowledge them. I, I laugh a lot, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, I like when you guys interact and share your energy with the channel. Okay. So, yeah, make sure you're subscribed. I know people have been coming saying, oh, YouTube unsubscribed me or why? How did I get unsubscribed? Honey, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But make sure you're subscribed and you like, comment, share. Okay. That'll be much appreciated, guys. So, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods, and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm. Virgo, Virg, and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that can be stopped and the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages to my Virgo, Virgs. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Virgo. So we got true love here. I picked this up from the bottom of the deck. The card that I didn't end up picking up with the rest. It said true love, twin flame, toxic toxic energy, evil eye, energy vampire. And then we have battle, challenges, opinions of others. Lawyer, child support, divorce, disconnected, hiding out, detaching from everyone, peace and quiet. Okay, so I feel like there's some sort of toxic energy surrounding a true love twin flame connection. You guys could be facing some sort of challenges here. Because I just feel like there's projection, to be honest. There could be some sort of court battle here going on. Or somebody get somebody asking right getting in trouble. This could be a spiritual thing. It doesn't have to be physical. Cause I know me, like when I started my journey and discovered that I was on a twin flame journey, a lot of shit was not coming up physically. It come up came up spiritually. So like and then I mean it'll play out in physical ways, but I just noticed like, well, they're saying in a reading that I'm that something, something, blah, blah, blah. But it don't ever like it, you just gotta be discerning. It could play out differently for other people, but um yeah there could be some sort of evil eye here to your union so you just need to cleanse or whatever or your journey if you're not in union with your twin yet let's see what's going on here for virgo waiting for an apology why who's waiting for an apology finding your soul purpose a fake apology Keeping peace, Aquarius, Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Taurus. What's waiting on an, on an apology and finding your soul purpose? Don't move on from me. So I don't know if you're still waiting on an apology, but I feel like you should not. <laughs> I feel like you need to move forward. Stop waiting on people to apologize. And if somebody's waiting on you to apologize and you know you didn't do anything, I really suggest you move on. I feel like they ask you ready to be waiting forever. I don't know if they're waiting on you or what, but I feel like, I don't know if they still think that you're waiting. Maybe at one point you did when you were in a more lower vibrational energy, but I feel like you're not. Somebody here don't want you to move on from them, but I feel like you are. So what's this for Virgo? <laughs> I don't like that. That sounds like what? Yeah, tag teaming. Why? What is tag teaming? Somebody waiting on you. Okay, crushing on you. What's tag teaming with crushing on you? Police, trouble, getting pulled over, gossip, talking behind your back, what's the tea, healing, energy, and competition, two sides of the story, arguments. So I feel like there's multiple people trying to gang up on somebody here, gang up on you, Virgo, because somebody is crushing on you. That's stupid. False person, demonic forces, Pisces. So I feel like you're the one with the healing energy here. You're the one that everybody needs. Everybody's on your dick, Virgo. So give me enough, give me some more food so I can move on. Because I don't even got time. You're going to get to the bottom of it and move the fuck on. Yeah, intuitive. What else? What's intuitive? What are you seeing? Okay, late night talks, pillow talk, and conversation. So with intuitive, you can know that somebody's talking about you behind your back with a whole bunch of hoes that now feel the need to what? Tag team up against you? All because somebody here has a crush on you or whatever. 
Okay. Somebody here is trying to hold on to you. They do not want you to move on from them. But it's like they're trying to gaslight you into giving them an apology. I feel like, bitch, you're never going to get an apology ever. So you might as well, you're going to be dead and gone before you get anything. And even when your soul and your flesh leaves or wherever the fuck is going to go, probably straight to hell, you're ne you're still not going to get an apology. <laughs> Nobody's visiting hell to give your bitch ass a fucking thing here, period. <laughs> you're not getting nothing. So I don't, I don't know. But okay. What's, uh... Let's see. I don't. Let's see what this is. Yeah, Page of Pentacles reverse. What's this? Um, waiting for an apology, finding your soul purpose, and don't move on from me. Okay, justice. Period. Yeah, Libra energy. So karmic justice here. Something is cleared out for you. Your karma is cleared out. Something is balanced out. Yeah, and you're going towards a new beginning. Or there's definitely something going on in court. Okay, for some of you, but this is just like your karma balancing out. You receiving karma justice. Something is now fair and it's working out, I feel like, for you in your favor. So what, what's this? What else? The apology for what? For leaving you the fuck alone? Like they were supposed to be leaving you alone? The fuck are you saying? Yeah, three of pentacles. Okay. Capricorn Mars. Somebody asked, could be getting ready to go to court or whatever. This could be, I'm just getting like lawyers, mediators, or uh, shit, yeah, public defender. <laughs> I'm hearing something about a court case or something like that. But on um, the Three of Pentacles is, yeah, you learn from your past mistakes, or you could be in a very, um, in a very nice partnership when you and this person are working together. This could be a work thing, or this could be a relationship. But I feel like, too. You're very skilled at something, too. You've gained the skills or you put in the hard work for something with the Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're committed to something. Or you could be signing a contract. The, ju the justice with the Three of Pentacles, there's a contract being signed from, like, a document from the courts or whatever. Or this could be spiritual. You signed some sort of soul contract in a past life and now you're you're in it. That's why I find your soul purpose is here. So what's the justice? You guys will be seeing 311, 1133. Knight of Cups, yeah. So this is a soul contract being signed with this Knight of Cups. Or this is somebody now they want to they wanna come apologize to you. They want to bring fairness. This could be somebody that wants to be diplomatic or sincere or whatever. But I feel like you could be dating someone. This could be a proposal. Okay, some of you guys are, are eloping or you're just going to go to the courts to get married. Or you sign some sort of soul contract with whoever this Knight of Cups is. Somebody that wants to date you genuinely. And sincerely, like, be with you. What's the justice with the Knight of Cups? The High Priestess? Yeah. Pisces? So, yeah, this is like your Akashic Records. Something was written here for you, I feel. Something about your Akashic Records here, Virgo. You're, you're, you're destined to get married to whoever this Knight of Cups is, or you're destined to get proposed to. I feel like you know it, though, or you're, you're intuitive. You can feel it. You can sense it. That somebody wants to date you genuinely, and they're sincere. You have hidden knowledge of this. You know this. You know that somebody is not playing you or whatever. So what's Three of Pentacles? Whatever this is that you're in is written in your contract. Yeah, Virgo energy. That's you. Or this could be another Virgo. What's Three of Pentacles with the Hermit? The Queen of Cups in Reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Feminine. So this Queen of Cups in reverse could be um, looking into you or this could be you needing to do some sort of shadow work when it comes down to your trust issues. This could be like codependency or um, you're doing some sort of shadow work when it comes down to how to regulate your feelings and your emotions. This could be emotional immaturity. Or somebody's like needy or they're whining or nagging or being clingy or this is you. So what's the Queen of Cups reverse? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. What's Queen of Cups reverse, Wheel of Fortune? The Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody here could be experiencing like a creative block. This Queen of Cups in reverse. 
somebody here, this hermit, whoever this is, this could be a Virgo that ghosted this queen of cups in reverse. Maybe a Virgo man. They could be older. It doesn't have to be. But they this 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 hermit here is like somebody is um revoking their offer from this queen of cups in reverse, or they've ghosted this person or something like that. And it was fated to be like this. Or it was fated for somebody here to ghost you because at that time you wasn't emotionally mature enough. Or this is somebody that like played on your, they played on your psyche, they played on your feelings. Like they gaslit you a lot that, and it could have caused blockages with your self-expression, your creativity, your feelings. Like maybe you were silenced as a child or you was in a relationship with somebody that silenced you like that. They played on your mind to make you doubt your intuition. Okay, possibly. So gaslighting. Or this Queen of Cups is the gaslighter. So yeah, this, this Page of Cups is like what? Bad news or promiscuity or somebody having inner child healing that they need to be doing. But this too is like jealousy. Somebody's like jealous of your destiny or whatever whatever good luck or good karma you have coming in. Okay, let's see. What's what's the hermit? The two of wands. What's the hermit two of wands? The ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, exactly. Gemini here, Aries, Mars. So yeah, I feel like you've broken a generational curse and now you could be getting ready to go into a new phase of your life. I feel like you could be going into a partnership too, or it's like, you're just planning for your future. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like some you're in a contract where your shit looks good. Somebody else is in a contract with somebody here that's jealous of you. And I feel like, oh, okay. This is like, okay, then ain't got shit to do with me, honey. Let me turn on this fan. Hold on. It's like, I feel like somebody here chose wrong. And it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, motherfuckers are always doing that. I'm like, and I get it. You know, life is life. But it's just like, bitch. I feel like somebody's hiding out, hiding out from you now because a curse has been broken or you've overcame some sort of slander or gossip or whatever this is. So it's like, you're still going to get what you want at the end of the day. So somebody here got with this jealous bitch for no reason or whatever this is, or they with them for a reason, but it just, it's not, whatever this is ain't working. So I don't know what somebody is trying to do, but Page of, page of custom reverse too is somebody that don't want to be seen it's like now all of a sudden they ghost or they disappeared or yeah now they don't want to fight or i feel like somebody's trying to like cover their tracks or save face or they just don't want to be seen a certain way like i said or maybe it's this bitch that don't but anyways what's tag team and crushing on you police gossip healing energy and competition hmm. the page of swords Yeah, there's like little petty gossip going on. Somebody here is watching you thrive and shine. This could be you speaking up against some sort of like injustice with the page of swords. Somebody is like, this could be like fear and anxiety too or paranoia in some way. So somebody is like watching you or trying to get information on you. But I feel like you're very much so self-sufficient, self-made, abundant wealthy and you handling something with grace so maybe the police could be getting ready to come get somebody else because whatever they're saying about you ain't true you're not you're not showing anything you're just sitting up here minding your business somebody just seems to be jealous <laughs> they're just jealous okay so what's page of swords it's like whatever somebody is saying about you it's not true yeah the empress in the reverse Towards Libra, what's the page of swords and reverse? King of Swords, yeah. Look at Archangel Michael. <laughs> or this the police. 
this bitch getting ready, they ass getting ready to go to jail for speaking on you. This could be like defamation of character. This could actually be a case of being open or they getting ready to be open. That's why you bitches need to start like closing your fucking mouth and shutting your dumb asses the fuck up. And you wouldn't be getting caught up in your shit. But anyways, or this King of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be somebody cutting this in person reverse off or setting clear boundaries. But this is the police for some of you. The actual police or Archangel Michael. Either way, the police. Because <laughs> Archangel Michael is like the police. They're not finna play with, with, with this bitch. Just period. So everybody could be looking at this hoe. You're speaking up against whatever the fuck this in person reverse did. And it could be getting them cut off by this King of Swords. Possibly. What's what's this in person in reverse? Yeah, the moon. You now somebody here scared. But definitely somebody's like trying to hide or be deceptive. Or they've been deceptive, obviously. I feel like this person is scared as fuck. <laughs> this person is like scared. With the moon. Yeah, that's like fear and anxiety. What's the, what's the King of Swords? Pisces, Cancer? Yeah, the, the Six of Wands. What's King of Swords, Six of Wands? Four of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so I feel like you're moving out of a stalemate or you're getting ready to seize an opportunity here. Because there's a victory for you. This could be like public recognition or more like supporters um, or whatever more confidence you're just feeling good so mm. <laughs> somebody's trying to be in competition with you and there is none i feel like you're a beast at something that you do too you could be Definitely you have status, for sure, with the Nine of Pentacles. This is wealth, as well as somebody that's a great businesswoman or man. So, I feel like you're getting a victory. You're victorious in something. What's the Nine of Pentacles? Nine of Pentacles, too, is freedom. You freed yourself from something. Oh, okay, the King of Cups in the reverse. What's the Nine of Pentacles here with the King of Cups reverse? This King of Cups reverse been coming out all fucking day. Two of Swords. So, this King of Cups in reverse could be somebody that's, what, depressed? So I feel like this is the fake empress here. People are looking at this fake empress that this King of Cups has gotten with. Yeah, King of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse. There are people looking at this fake empress because I guess they try to compare themselves to you or this King of Cups tried to have some sort of carbon copy of your ass, Virgo. So now it's like two of swords. It's like somebody here stuck in the middle or they want to call a truce or this is somebody too with a closed heart chakra. This person is very mean they could be very ruthless but they could be more so now depressed <laughs> depressed and miserable very emotionally just disgruntled they're all over the place emotionally what's king of cups reverse this could be them at a stalemate they're stuck let me try to prevent this shit from falling yeah the eight of wands came out in the reverse of the floor Mm, Sagittarius, Saturn, I mean Mercury. Yeah, whatever this gossiping is or whatever this message is going right back, just period. <laughs> like everybody's probably looking at them like they, they look dumb. They could be getting tag tag team upon. Because I feel like you're free. You're free. Mm, what is this? What's the King of Cups reverse with the Eight of Wands reverse? The Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody here sad as fuck because they missed an opportunity with you or something is over. Magician reverse, Eight of Cups. <laughs> that whatever their manipulation is, it didn't work because you see the bigger picture of something. There is no competition. There is no I'm trying to get third party hoes to go against you. There is no such thing as no weak ass fucking cult. You took them down too. Somebody here got you fucked up. And they wasted their goddamn time trying to take you out and try to have somebody get with somebody here to pretend like they're so happy with this bitch and they know damn well they miss you. <clears throat> so 
So, okay, somebody's in regret or they crying over spilled milk or they're sad or angry and whatever else. What's the two of swords? And the two of pentacles reverse. Y'all could be saying two, two, two. What's two of swords, two of pentacles reverse? Six of swords in reverse. Ooh, Aries, Mercury, Capricorn, Jupiter. So, yeah, this is like chaos and havoc. Something here is out of control. Just period. It's like somebody here biting off more than they can chew in the situation. Someone is definitely stuck, but they're trying to... I feel like somebody's like trying to uh, get away from something. They're trying to run away from their, their consequences. But this is the energy of you can run, but you can't hide. Two of Pentacles in reverse is a lack of like flexibility. Somebody can't barely move or they can't go anywhere or they don't have the money to do so. So they're stuck. They're at a stalemate. Or they're trying to come towards you, but it's like you're not open to this person saying anything to you. So they don't know which path to take or they don't know which path to go down or they're confused. Or somebody has to face their fears when it comes down to saying anything to you. Because they know that they've been mean as fuck. Or they, they try to do something nasty to you with this empress in reverse. Or whatever this is. Queen of Cups reverse. Whatever. Or they ask, there could be trouble headed this person's way. Or they're already in trouble. Okay, damn. <laughs> it's like out of the frying pan and into the fire. Mm, what's intuitive in pillow talk? Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups reverse, and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Scorpio, Mars. I mean, yeah. Cancer, Venus, Virgo. So the Two of Cups is what, a breakup or there will be no reconciliation? Two people that just don't get along either. This could be an abusive relationship that somebody is in or this could be like a, a a soul tie between you and this person that's disconnecting i feel like something is slowing down for someone or whatever but there there's some sort of illusion that's clearing or these two holes if these two are together there's a big ass reality check for them <laughs> with the with the seven of cups in reverse i feel like all they do is argue if that's them they don't even like each other. This karmic couple, this king and the queen of cups in reverse, this empress reverse. Some of you guys here too, there could be an unwanted or un maybe it's not unwanted, but there could be like an unplanned pregnancy or unexpected. Possibly. Hmm. Yeah, while these two idiots, they're going through a breakup or whatever. What's uh, Knight of Pentacles? The star. Yeah, so I'm getting slow and steady wins the race. So there's a need for you to keep your faith in something here that you're working on or just stay pace, patient, stay diligent when it comes down to whatever you're doing for your work. Maybe there's something that you have started that you need to go ahead and uh, that you stop, that you need to go ahead and start again and complete. This could be something involving your work, your finances. Or the star is a positive outcome to something. It's definitely somebody that's inspiring or motivational. A healer. It could be very creative, artistic. So there could be something creative or artistic that you started that you could be needing to go ahead and complete. Or this could be you going into your north node where there's a need for you to have patience and just, you know, work. Go through the process. You put in the hard work for something. Something, it could be hard work, but... Put, put in the hard work. It don't matter. <laughs> we just do it the right way. Okay, period. But there's going to be a positive turnaround with something. With the star. What's the two of cups reverse? The ace of wands. What's two of cups reverse? Ace of wands. The world came out reverse on my lap. So yeah, somebody failed. You know, you know what I just heard? Somebody here failed or they're disappointed. They're having to cut their losses because you have chemistry with someone else and they failed at energy harvesting. That's what they failed at. That's why these two idiots, they're, they're falling apart. Their relationship ain't, ain't on shit because they're trying to energy harvest. You guys have be seeing 717, 818. Like they, they're too busy trying to gain energy off something that you're doing. What's the Ace of Wands? 
So this is definitely a passion or a new creative spark for something. Or somebody's like trying to get bitches or have sex. They Okay, so this could be this couple. Like they're trying to gain some sort of energy off of you. Off of your name or just talking about you every motherfucking day. They're hoping that they will get some sort of energy or hoping they will get something. Bitch, you're not getting nothing. What's the Ace of Wands? It's like, what? Yeah, the hangman. What's Ace of Wands hangman? Pisces. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Exactly. So they're trying to defame you. This karmic couple has tried to defame you. And the only reason why they got together because it's because of you. Everything is about you. That's the only reason why these bitches are together. So the Nine of Cups is somebody here. Somebody here too could have a sex addiction or just addictions to anything. It could be drugs, alcohol, whatever the fuck. But somebody's miserable. They're arrogant. They're conceited. They're cocky. And I feel like they keep on trying to sacrifice you to gain energy for their fucking relationship. Like, it's like weird. Somebody's into some magic and all this other shit. I feel like, bitch, okay. That shit failed, though. And there's there's going to be a breakup. Yeah, exactly. The Magician reverse, Three of Cups reverse. Just a little dumb, petty shit. What's Seven of Cups reverse? Something that we don't need to stay on because I'm not wasting my time. You guys would be saying 10-10. So yeah, look, this fake ass relationship, whatever this is that wasn't built on a solid foundation is falling the fuck apart because it's built off your energy. That's just not how it's going to go down, bitch. 626, six, I just saw 26, 26 on the timer. <laughs> That's just not how it's going to go down. Y'all hoes is desperate and raggedy looking. And it shows. So there's a breakup or there's dysfunction going on. There's a lot of arguments and shit going on in this raggedy ass house with these raggedy ass hoes. It's fake. It's not built on anything solid. Somebody's like really faking their happiness or something looks good on paper, but it's not. And they asking Ray to get a big ass reality check because this could definitely be... Shit, this could be CPS being called or somebody's kids could be getting taken away or this could be a divorce for sure that. Or they breaking up or this could be um homelessness. What's seven of cups reverse, ten of cups in the reverse? okay the page of wands reverse yeah so something that somebody's doing is is predictable page of wands in reverse too is like petty behavior somebody here is loud or they like drama when they don't get their way they like to act out or, or throw tantrums this could be fear fearfulness yeah look Oops, the five of swords in reverse and the three of swords. Somebody here is going to jail. They can ready to go to spiritual jail because they don't want to change their fucking ways here. They just don't. Or they going to real jail. The chariot is here. Death call reverse, three of swords. So this could be a third party or this could be your ex here getting publicly scrutinized. Or they're embarrassed or they feel defeated or ashamed or they in regret or whatever. They're sad as fuck though. Or this couple's getting embarrassed because it's like they're not even together because they like each other. They're together because they want to sit up here and lie on you. Knowing damn well that that's not what the fuck getting ready to happen. They ain't, they ain't getting shit from your energy. And if they did get something, they're going to have to give that up. I'm also getting... This Queen of Swords is giving me a mother. Because we got these two idiots together. Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Reverse. I don't know. a lot of dumb shit going on i just feel like i don't i don't got time for that <laughs> like we, we just it, it is what it is with y'all hoes man i'm not finna you know what i'm saying i really just i don't know i'm not in the mood to be reading on that <laughs> like legit hoes gonna be hoes bitches gonna be bitches losers gonna be losers and we see it it is what it is So anyways, dishonesty, Libra Scorpio cuss, imposter syndrome, someone may try to get one over you, be more authentic and honest in dealings, keeping secrets hidden, deep feelings of guilt, giving up instead of taking a stand, wolf in sheep's clothing, someone is trying to swindle you. Leo here, adventurer. Guided by emotions, romantic and idealistic, fun flings, passionate energy, artistic and inspired creativity, embarking on emotional quests, offer of love, apology, proposal, chemistry, and flirting. 
So with this imposter syndrome here, somebody could be trying to do something to make you think that whoever you're dating now with the justice, mighty cups, and the, and, the, and the high priestess is not your person, but they are. On the other side of this, it says troubled waters, emotional instability, inner conflicts, unrealistic expectations, unexpected pregnancy. Some of y'all, there could be. I, I see that here with the Empress in reverse. I feel like this this person too. So this could be this person. Yeah, that King of Cups in reverse. They're not they're not honest in their dealings here. They keep they keeping something hidden. It's the fact that they're sad about you. That's what they keeping hidden. And they got this bitch over here acting dumb. Or whatever the fuck this is, man. This person tries to act like they're they're so romantic or they're so this, they're so that, but they're not. They're really not. For some of you, this karmic feminine could be pregnant. Who knows? what else so we have fulfilled open heartedness joyful connections wise are choosing partner falling in love job offer or raise starting business venture emotional richness love fertility passion loving oneself healing and forgiving others open-minded and welcoming and optimistic yeah and then we have 12th house sacrifice self-destructive tendencies isolation loneliness avoids facing reality psychic overload leading to confusion anxiety or paranoia illusions deception or betrayal in relationships sacrificing one's own needs for sake of love hidden enemies and conflicts at work i feel like this person is so in denial that you're just you're truly fulfilled and you're moving on i feel like with guidance and unfulfilled you try to guide them because you they're the ones that's unfulfilled it's not you but they don't want to listen so they'd rather keep up this facade or like they just they just can't be defeated, but bitch, you are. Five of Swords in reverse, you are defeated. It's just like move on. Six eleven on the clock. It's like accept the loss and move the fuck on. We got Sagittarius, security. Examine your relationship with money. Be attentive to long-term financial security, scarcity mindset, stockpiling away, placing too much value on material things, stable position. Then we have Taurus here, Mama Dearest. Smothering and overprotectiveness, blocked by others, overspending and relying on material wealth for happiness, neglecting children's needs. Exactly. Somebody over here is not a good parent. They're not a good mother. Okay. They as CPS could be getting ready to get called. Okay. Possessive, criticizes others in their life decisions, disagrees, overly focused on looks and materialism. Exactly. Somebody needs to grow the fuck up okay get their life together period especially if this is the Taurus, honey they don't embarrass me bitch do not embarrass me <laughs> as a Taurus sun Taurus moon virgo rising i can never neglect shit that's going on with me and mine so if you're a Taurus and you're karmic and you know that you're neglecting your children get that shit together stop embarrassing me bitch get your life together Give me a call for my high vibrational Virgos and my high vibrational cross watchers for Virgo. Day moon, love here. Okay. Night night moon, shadow work. So that's like the sun and the moon. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So it says there's something miraculous about seeing the moon during the day. Agreed. And there's something even more miraculous about love. There's also something miraculous afoot, quite possibly to do with love when you draw this card. It suggests that although there still may be challenges, and aren't there always challenges in relationships, you have a relationship that's worth thinking about. Love is dawning. Love is rising like the day moon. If you're in a troubled relationship of any kind, personal or professional, take this card as a sign that the toughest obstacles are behind you. The way to find partnership happiness now is to remove your ego from the situation and allow the purity of your feelings to guide you. If you're attracted to someone, this card is all this card is a sign to show your feelings. Even in a non-romantic situation, the message of this card is similar. It's crucial to show someone else involved in, in your question how you feel. Your feelings are more important than your ego. Better days are dawning. Bluer skies are ahead of you. Live for love and love will live for you. Period. So the additional meanings for this card is something unexpected is about to happen. Stay tuned. A secret is about to be exposed. Working with the moon will help you now. Life is what you make it. It's time to start seeing life's magic. So about this symbol, it says as the moon moves into her quarter moon phases, especially after full moon, 
conditions develop for us to have a day moon to see the moon during the day because she's far enough away from the sun and rises or sets during daylight yeah okay nice so yeah there's something unexpected getting ready to happen in your love life just period and really i feel like too somebody's unsatisfied sexually with someone like somebody lets their children just run run around this could be like a delinquent the page of wands in reverse uh, somebody's child could be lashing out or they could be acting out or somebody's just childish mm. this is your reading Virgo. i hope this reading gave you clarity like comment subscribe turn notification bell on press the all button so you won't miss my readings and i'll talk to y'all later bye